We're with the Aztec senior safety and their captain, Dwayne Johnson Jr., joining us right now on the Loose Cannons. Dwayne, it's awesome to have you, and uh, what a win in week one, 10 tackles for you. I want to start with what it meant for you to be named the team captain in your senior year. What was that experience like? Oh, it meant everything. You know, uh, being a little kid, you always see that C on college players football jersey. So um, just to get named the captain of the team is big, and to be a captain of 130 guys is, is a huge achievement, you know? Well, Dwayne, one thing we know, and this goes back to Rocky Long, and I'm sure Brady Hoke feels the same way, there's a lot of responsibility being a senior leader on these teams. Um, obviously, you've, you've been in the program, but now that you have that leadership role, does it change anything for you, or you just feel comfortable it's a natural thing for you to be that kind of team leader? Um, it, it doesn't change anything. Uh, I may have to speak a little bit more. But other than that, uh, it's just all of my senior guys, we all get a voice in this team, and we just go out and try to lead everybody to a victory every week. You know, Dwayne, that defensive performance against UNLV was about as commanding of a performance as I've ever seen, and I've been calling your games for the past three seasons, and that's a lot of good defense. How did you guys dominate? And, and what was it about the week of practice leading up to that game that allowed you guys to play so well on Saturday? Um, in that week of practice, it was just all execution-based. Everything had to be precise, and we had to execute our plays on defense. And effort, effort plays a big role in our defense. If anybody watches a play of our defense any game, you see effort. Those busted plays that may look like they're supposed to go for 30 end up being 5 yards, 10 yards, just from effort from every position. So... That's all we came out to do is just execute plays and give as much effort as we possibly could. Dwayne Johnson Jr. joining us right now on the Loose Cannons. Uh, how fortunate do you feel to have had the opportunity to be coached by some of the like the most brilliant college football defensive coaches of the last 25 years? You think about Rocky Long, what he's done with the 3-3-5. Brady Hoke, obviously, his impact on defensive sides of football throughout his career. How fortunate have you been to play for those two? I'm super fortunate. Um it's funny because you can talk to Coach Long, right? And Coach Long has not one play written down anywhere. <laughs> and he memorizes everything in his head. So, like, you can just bring up a random play and he'll be like, oh, no, you're supposed to do this. Oh, no, if the guy does this, he's supposed to do this. And then Coach Hoke is the same way. But it's just funny because Coach Hoke hones in, horns in on the defensive line and Coach Long is just all over the defense. So it's just funny. And me being able to get coached by both of those students in the same year, it helped me excel as a player definitely you know last year's defense was historic i mean it wasn't just good it was historic it was the greatest single season defense in san diego state history tazino has gone barku has gone but when you look at the guys around you right now i mean it's saying a lot but could this defense eventually be as good as what we saw a year ago um uh, like i said uh the last year's defense was based off all effort. Um, literally just flying to the ball, playing with reckless abandon. So if we can get to matching that same intensity as we, as we matched last year, I think we could be just as good, if not better. Dwayne, we were just discussing this before we hopped on the show. Uh, our co-host here, Steve, has a, uh, a bully at the station. Uh, I, I mean, I, I, we didn't speak about this at very much length because this is a new development, but I t I'm going to suggest to him he takes him out in the parking lot and he strains this whole situation out. Are, are, you, are you of that mind, or do you think he should try to reason with, uh, with this bully that he's dealing with? You say he has a bully? He's got a uh, bully. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I'm not for getting bullied, so I definitely would lean to the parking lot. There you go. But... I know, I know. In the world today, you're supposed to try to talk it out first. Yeah. But I'm well, gonna say go to the parking lot with it. No, the problem with the parking lot is social distancing. Okay, <laughs> That's a good so point. if you take it to the parking lot, you know you're not really with the protocol of social distancing. <laughs> Dwayne Johnson. Well, if you wear a mask and you wear two layers of clothes. You know, it's just, it's okay. I love it. Dwayne Johnson Jr. joining us right now on the Loose Cannon. So last year, Dwayne, as you know, Utah State won here at SDCCU Stadium. Jordan Love was their quarterback. So how much heading into this Saturday is about avenging what happened last year when you got beat by this team? It's big. It's 
big about a vision that, you know, we lost three games last year and we treat each game like that was the game that kept us out of the championship. So to come back and get uh, our payback is big, you know. Um, we need to perform a little better on defense and we need to perform better on offense this year. So we're all trying to pick it up. The thing that really impressed me overall with the team and your dominating first game victory is – this wasn't exactly, Dwayne, the normal offseason for you guys. You didn't know when the season was going to start. You thought you were going to play in the spring. All of a sudden, they move it back to the fall. You had to sort of scramble to get everything together, not to mention you're playing in an unfamiliar stadium. Uh, were you surprised at just how well you guys did play? I know coaches like to downplay it, but, I mean, were you surprised you guys were as efficient on both sides of the football as you were considering everything that led up to the start of the season? You know, at the beginning of everything, when we first started starting back up, I was kind of doubtful. But uh, once we got going, everybody was bought in, and we just started figuring, oh, you got to change this up. Like, we can't do this because of social distancing, and everything started coming into play, and we started seeing more and getting around each other more and being able to do more. There was no doubt in my mind that we would click eventually. You know, Dwayne, we got an opportunity to see Jordan Bird, Chance Bell back in the backfield. Keegan Williams obviously had quite a good game against UNLV, but there's a new Bell in the backfield as well, and that's Greg. And he's the transfer from Nebraska. Uh, obviously, he couldn't go last year. He had an eye injury he was still getting better from. We've only seen very little of him, you know, I'm talking about Aztecs fans, you have the up close and personal uh, of Vista into what type of back he is. So describe the the, the new guy, the new guy on the field. Uh, what's he like? Uh, what should we expect all season long from Greg Bell? So I I actually was talking to Tariq about this the other day. I, the way I describe Greg is he has Donnell Pumphrey's vision with Rashad Penny's footwork, if that makes sense. It does. It does. So you're saying he runs well through trash, but he finds daylight. Yes, sir. Yeah, I tell you, he is, a quote. He, is, he is a good combination of size and speed. What's it like trying to tackle him? I know you guys have limited contact practices because of COVID-19 and, you know, how many times you were in full pads. Maybe it's only been a couple handfuls. But uh, what's it like trying to bring him down? It's not the bringing him down part. It's him cutting back, which frustrates me. <laughs> you got to make sure you read all the holes and try to basically play cat and mouth <laughs> so I can close the gap down on that. <laughs> Dwayne, thank you so much for joining us here today. We're looking forward to Saturday. Again, you guys on the road for the first time against Utah State. You can hear the game on Extra 1360. Good luck this weekend, and thank you as always. Thank you.